What's going on guys? Big VP back with another Game Case Arcades video. On this one today, we're going to be unboxing a little mod that I made known as the Gangster Mod for the Godfather Pinball. Stay tuned. Watch as I take this $15,000 machine and I make it worthless with this mod. We got to turn it on. <laughs> All right, guys, you know, if you're not following me on all the socials, what are you waiting for? Be sure to follow me at Vic underscore VP. You would see everything behind the scenes and all that, and obviously me enjoying my pinball machines. I just made the video for this, the beautiful custom glass cover. What a, what a thing of beauty, man. <laughs> Again, be sure to follow, be sure to like, subscribe, notification bell, Comment down below on what you think of the videos and just, just comment. Apparently that helps the algorithm. <laughs> yes, let this thing power on and let me just show you how we are going to destroy this beautiful machine. Man, get ready for the sarcasm on this one. It's unreal, dude. It is unreal. The communities that we are in, everybody is a keyboard warrior. It's, it's so sad. Uh, it really makes you, like, people in this community, they don't like that you are creative. They might see this video and they're like, this is not fucking creative, Vic. You're an idiot for this. I don't know. It's, it's just, it's so sad. It's so sad. And the biggest thing, you just cannot live life pleasing others. You gotta worry about yourself in this life. Uh, a lot of you, if you are new here, you're gonna be like, Vic, what are you talking about? What is happening? Man, the whole hate. I believe... I'm gonna put this this va very valuable piece of glass down at the end, visit glass. I am pretty certain that I own the most hated Godfather Collector's Edition pinball machine in the world. The amount of hate for this machine is unbelievable. It's actually gone, it's gone up to pinball pros and pinball podcasters and and uh, you know, people that know way better than anybody in this world. It's so crazy. I don't know if it's an honor. I guess I would say it's an honor. I had my machine, screenshots or pictures that I've taken of my machine have been seen on some dude that I didn't even know who it was until a buddy of mine uh, messaged me. He's like, dude, you're on this guy's, you, you, you're on this guy's page. Um, uh, some guy by the name of like, uh, Can Canada? Kane, 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 Kaneda? Who the fuck is that guy? <laughs> Put the meme of Conor McGregor going, who the fuck is that guy? Who the fuck is that guy? Who the fuck is that? I don't know, but that guy's got something about me and my machines. It might not be about me. He's, he's so far made two posts about it. The first one talking about the low ceiling mod. And he just put some snarky, stupid thing on like, oh, hey guys, check out this guy enjoying some low ceiling greatness. And the spew of hate in the comments, man, haters gonna hate. You know you're doing something right when you got haters on you. They just, it's just so sad when people, they just don't appreciate like creativity. The worst comments I see is just like how I started this video. Oh man, you, you, you totally like devalued your machine. You will never be able to sell that machine the way you did it now. And I just, I facepalm so hard because number one, you didn't see the videos, which is fine. I'm a nobody, it's A-OK. -okay. Um, you know, and number two, people just don't think things through. Like, what do you think I did with the original base? Do you think I just chucked it? People are just stupid. <laughs> it's, it is crazy. So again, the low ceiling mod, my machine hit six months old. I am enjoying the shit out of my machine. I didn't post the video just yet. You, it will go up before this video goes up, but I just took the time to actually purchase um, six new ball barons. So these are, I got brand new six balls, uh, the Polaris ones, and my Toy Story, I did actually put six ninja balls in them. Um, Godfather right now, I believe I'm at a good 1,800 games played. Figure out a dollar a game? Whew. I'm, uh, I'm really making use of my machine. I am enjoying the hell out of my machine. 
and it's my machine. I could do whatever the fuck I want with my machine. <laughs> I love this game. This game kicks teeth in. It kicks your ass. I love it. They just did an update, not just now, it's probably maybe a month or two ago. Uh, you know, there's shorter uh, multi-ball save timer. So if you're in a multi-ball and the ball drains, that's it. It's like the Don just fucking pistol whipped you and said, be a man. <laughs> I don't want to go too much of a rant because I plan to do that on the full reveal video for it, but man, the Godfather. You know, it gets so much hate in the community. And again, still to date, when this game was released, sent out and all that, in New York alone, there is still only one arcade that has a Godfather LE. I just feel like people have not played the game. So it's just crazy that this game has so much hate. Yet, this game, when the trailer came out, it, it influenced me so bad that it made me want to buy a real pinball machine. I was never looking at, looking at buying a real pinball machine. This thing really drew me in. It really pulled me in, and I love the hell out of it. Now, the crazy thing is, there's a couple of people that have done some minor mods to it. And I'm not talking about, you know, gameplay and, and swapping play fields. A mod is a mod. Basically, if you're starting to add something to it, it's considered a mod. Uh, or if you actually start modifying stuff, such as my topper. I had to modify the topper, it is a mod. The Toy Story mod that I have is I added LEDs. I swapped out the actual back box LEDs. Godfather has amazing white. Toy Story had like one strip. I modified it to do that. A mod is a mod. It really consists of anything. Now, as far as the Godfather, there's really not that many mods to choose from slash people doing mods. I feel like it's just people aren't playing the game, so they're not excited or they're not in tights to make mods for this game. Whereas, like, you know, Godzilla, Godzilla's a, a you know, don't get me wrong, Godzilla's a, an amazing game. I'm not a Godzilla fan, but I play it every time I go to the arcade. That's got several mods. You could be calm, put the actual animated Godzilla in the playfield. That is a beautiful mod. I give props to the companies that make those mods because number one, it definitely costs money to even start slash start like molding. You know, that, that Godzilla, the animatronic Godzilla in the play field, you know how many like trial and errors just to make a mold and all that? I can only imagine. But with that though, it is an expensive mod. Once you actually buy it, these things cost a lot. Now for the Godfather, there's like one or two um, you know, some of them I'm not a fan of. Somebody has this thing, there's a, there's a thing called the hideout. They basically took a plastic out and made like a 3D print. That's cool. And luckily I think it's a cheap mod. It's like a $50 thing. That's fine. People do like the, uh, the flippers. They put different plastics on top of the flipper. I don't know. I'm not really totally into that. Um, one that's pretty cool is that they actually, somebody has a car. Uh, it's like a Hot Wheels car. It's actually a collectible die cast car. Uh, they put it over the compound lock. That's cool. They have one, it's basically, it's, it's, it's the Godfather era car. I'm not, I'm going to butcher what it is, but they have two versions. And again, it's an old real die cast car. So you're talking like, I don't know, eight, nine years old. So if you try to find this on like eBay, I think it's like an $80 to a hundred dollar car. It's, it's like a Hot Wheels car. They have one version that is like, um, sorry, a bit. it's not a Hot Wheels car, Vic. It's like one of those die casts. Like it's actually on a platform and it's all nice and neat. They have one version that has no bullet holes, and they have another one that has bullet holes. So, again, very cool stuff. There's also another one that somebody has here. On this lane is actually a car, like, printed here on the left here. It says here, bumper and slings, advanced Sicily targets. It's underneath the jackpot. Somebody put also another car there. Cool. Basic stuff. But other than that, there's not any other mods for Godfather. Now, some people... You know, they see a mod not available, they'll take the initiative and make their own mod. Yay! <laughs> Applaud being creative. Applaud thinking outside the box. Applaud just being you and making you happy. Now, the downside to all this is that it's gonna make you happy, but it will make 99% of the other people, the whole population of pinball, really pissed. Why would they get pissed? I really don't understand. Uh, I will never understand. Honestly, in my eyes, all the mods that you do to any game, you could always take it out and make it stock. Hence my topper mod. 
Hence the mod that I'm going to show you and I plan to do here. I'm not even going to unbox it just yet. I want to kind of show you the play field. And let's talk about like, you know, what, honestly, there's not even much room to mod. Not to mention it's like, you know, is this a necessary mod? No, this is not a necessary mod. It's just I personally see a gap on the play field and I want to be a little bit creative. Hate me for being creative. <laughs> now I'm going to give you basically player review. You could just see my hands. You won't see my head on this and all that. But as you can see on the play field, there's really not, honestly, there's not much needed. Especially with how the game plays out. There's not much needed, but hey, you might be like me where you kind of see a couple of things that you could add to. So for example, like I said, people have like the plastics here that could go along the flipper. Uh, somebody has like, I don't know, it's like a cigar or something like that. I don't know. It, it's cool. You could do that. I'm not knocking you. You did it. You did it. Awesome. Somebody did like this right here. Uh, this is like a picture of a Molotov cocktail. I've seen people actually 3D print something. Very cool. Little miniature stuff. Even like I've seen like stacks of dollar bills. Somebody did like a cigar one time. Very cool. Like I said before, right here, this car, somebody actually has a car platform over here. Cool. Great. I'm, I don't see a need for it, but you could do it. The one I was talking about was right here. People actually put the die cast car right here, which is very cool because honestly, it's like, you know, in the mode, you're entering the compound. That's what this, this is the purpose of this is that you're driving a car into the compound. Your pinball is the car. So it's kind of cool that when you cover it, you no longer see the ball. Kind of gives you a like an illusion, like okay, I parked in the in the compound, I parked in the garage. Awesome, like it's very cool. Now for me, as I'm looking at it, and the last one was the hideout. This is the hideout here I was talking about. Uh, somebody made like a big 3D printed thing. I'll probably post, you know, I'll post a snapshot of it. Other than that, though, not much else you could do. The Don is great. I love the 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 figurine that they have, the bust they call it. The gangster, the gangster is what drew me in this game. I love the gangster, he is awesome. You got the, the red tip on it, beautiful. I'll be honest, the Statue of Liberty in the rear is, it's tucked away, it's not really needed, but if you're Italian, you understand the significance of you know being on the boat and seeing the Statue of Liberty. My father tells me that story all the time when he saw the Statue of Liberty. So, very cool, not to mention it is also RGB'd out. It works. Now, for me, I just see an empty spot on the play field that would be very cool to make a mod. Now, there is some people that have taken this spot. I'm talking right here. Right here. You see this spot right here? Look at that. It's like, it's a big piece of plastic. It's like asking to be modded. Look at that. It's a very big piece of plastic. It's very cool. Basically, it's a guide to make sure the ball doesn't pop out, but your ball, once you shoot it out of lane, you can either go around the gangster, it could either come short down here, or it could even come down this like half loop here. Very cool, and ironically, it's a flat piece of plastic. So some people have done a mod. Somebody did one that's almost like Pulp Fiction, that they took a suitcase. It's basically a silver suitcase with money sticking out of it, coming out of it. Awesome. People then go, oh, that has nothing to do with the movie. There's no like money exchanges, but in the game, you're getting money. It's, it's there, you know what I mean? So again, everybody has their, their things to talk about, but again, for me, I see this, and I'm like, what can I put here? What can I do? Now again, keep in mind, I've had this for six months. I love the shit out of this game. I, it's kicking my teeth. You can see that there's some names, again, when I play, I don't really put my name in unless I get Grand Champion. You're gonna see like, I have yet to do five family multi-ball in this. I have yet to experience baptism in this. There's it's six months. Vic, what the fuck, how are you playing? I, I'm the type when I play this game, I go for like the points. And when you actually get into the mode of like, you know, you know, go to see the Don, um, it, it really, like, look at that, that's, that's a $99 million cash out. Uh, that's like, you know, I, I, I aim for that. I feel like I have to make sure the Don is happy. I have to be a good earner. That's just how I play the game. There are other people that would just probably just end the mode just to experience baptism. I play a little bit differently and I could play that. I've actually, I'm not gonna lie to you, I've tried playing like that and I still suck. <laughs> see, you can see that baptism champ, Billy Boy. I have yet to do baptism. <laughs> now going back to the mod, like I said, I had, I, had, I, I, I'm, I, you know, again, people post pictures in our pin side group. It's welcome to the family or um, keep it in the family. I'm sorry, it's keep it in the family, the Godfather owners and all that. People, people post their mods. There is somebody that's, it's very cool. I was actually thinking about this and he made it work or he did build it. Uh, somebody actually, and he's, he's pretty well known for making these LCD displays that show movie clips. He did one. It, it was actually very, it, it looked cool. 
But he actually modified the entire thing. He actually moved the Godfather bust across here somewhere. And he made a TV. Like a TV that was in this era of the movie with even putting the cat on. I'll post a picture of it. I'm very honored. He's a very cool dude. We were going back and forth. I was talking about my mod. He's showing his mod. Very cool. And in his mod, he put like 45 minutes of movie clips. I'm finding that so amazing that you could do that on like such a tiny LCD on an SD card. Oh, Vic, that's amazing. That's stupid. I think that's awesome. I think that's really thinking outside the box. Yes, there's movie clips here. Yes, that's all there. But he took like other movie clips. I think it's, I think it's awesome. Not to mention he's always, he's also done that for other games. He even did one for The Simpsons. I think that was his original one. He has the actual Simpsons TV showing Simpsons clips. And yet people hate. Like why? Like appreciate the creativity, appreciate thinking outside the box, appreciate doing something. I don't get people. Now, let me tell you the thought process behind this because I saw people put here, like I said, somebody has like the, the suitcase with the money. Very cool. It's just, I'm not, I'm not into it. It's not for me. I'm not going to go there though like, oh, you butchered the game. It, whatever. Now, looking here and as I play the game, I'm like, what could I, what could go here? My first thought was to put two gunners there. <laughs> My first thought was to put two guards here. I even went to the extent of reaching out to Jersey Jack Pinball and I said, hey, how much for just the gunner? And they said, unfortunately, Victor, we are sorry, but we are not selling the gunner individually right now. Maybe they will in the future, but they will not sell the gunner individually. Now, honestly, the LE owners, you guys got a topper edition, which is great, cool. People are like, oh, now the collector's edition owner. It's honestly two different toppers, number one. The LE though has a very nice white suited gunner. Very cool, I, I like it. You know, some people are like, oh, there's no guy in the movie that's in white suit. It, it's just cool, it's different. Me personally, when I was playing, when I played The Godfather on, for me it was the PC, it was a PS2 game, you know, you could actually make your character. I was big on black suit, red shirt, just like ironically Eric in this game, and later on, when you get like your money and you start playing the game, I went all white. I did go all white. Who? I feel like everybody wants to have an all white gangster. Very cool stuff. Now, like I said, unfortunately, not only did JJP not, all, they, 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 they can't sell the gunner. Uh, sadly, with the amount of space that's here, the gunner wouldn't fit. I know, trust me, I, I was trying to, I would have had to take out these metal brackets. Go see my topper mod. You're gonna see these metal brackets that are holding the gunners and all that. I would have to cut it significantly. Um, too risky. Not to mention, a lot of wiring needed. I wanted two gunners, because I feel like two gunners would fit perfectly. I don't want to settle for one. I'm not gonna settle. As far as wiring though, I would just tap in, maybe make them do the same thing. You know, maybe kind of reverse wires. This way, when one goes left, they'll go right. There's a lot to it, but yes, you do have to know wiring. You know, I honestly, I feel like if I did that, maybe people would appreciate the mod and be like, oh, I want it. And then obviously 99% of the other people would be like, this is fucking stupid, Vic, what are you doing? <laughs> but that was my initial idea. Now I took the idea of, hey, gunners, can we put more like gangsters? Can we put more mobsters into it? What can I do in that realm? Because them looking at you here, they're shooting at you. They look like bad guys. They want to they fuck you up. <laughs> so I'm like, all right, my mod is going to be a gangster mod. I want to add more gangsters. Now it's time to go to the drawing board. What can I do? I'm the type where obviously I'm going to search for something that's already made. I'm going to look for something that, like I said, some people took the die cast car from Godfather and they put it there. Is there any Godfather figurines made? A shitload of Funko Pops. I'm not a fan of Funko Pop. Definitely if I would have put Funko Pops in this, it would have butchered the game. That's my opinion. I don't like Funko Pops so. though. If you have a Funko Pop, cool. I'm not a fan of it though. Other than that, you're not gonna find much. If you do though, you might be like me where you found actually a Don Corleone uh, figurine with his chair. You'd be shocked to see that that figurine is about $350. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, no, I don't, I don't, I already have the Don. Then I found a Michael Corleone figurine. That was cool. Same thing though, looking around $300 for a figurine. I will say though, I am looking to get that figurine. 
I am looking to get that. I would save up and put it because I feel like it would be a, a very nice touch. The only thing though is that that figurine is a full body figurine. You're talking 12, 16 inches tall. This space right here? I don't know if you could see that. But measurement on that, it's about three and a half inches tall that I have. That's it. That's all I got right here is three and a half inches. The gangster here, I would say is about, I don't know, five or six inches tall. I even asked JJP, hey, can you give me another body? Because if you know us CE owners, we actually have the second head. There's a Floyd and a Mike. They won't sell it. <laughs> Not to mention though, it is too tall for my space. Back to the drawing board. Now this process, no joke, I'm, I'm talking like four, five days. I even went to the extent of trying to find somebody 3D printing. 3D printing right now is huge. But I look at like Galactic Tank Forest and you kind of see videos and 3D printing has like hard edges and you have to sand it. There is a process to 3D printing. Um, in my eyes, I think if you're trying to do multicolor 3D printing, I think it's a pain. I, I don't know 3D printing. I don't know anything about it. I haven't done any research on it. I did reach out to a 3D printer though. I did also reach out to somebody that makes uh, action figures. And um, I don't know. The main thing though, I have an issue with is the size here. So I can't do a full body figurine. I then thought of, hey, our gangster here is half body. I need to find somebody that's gonna make me a half body figurine. I'm like, all right, I'm hitting up 3D printer guys. A lot of the people, and I respect it. I, under, I mean, again, I'm not even a toy maker, but I understand, I respect that there's so much coding. Not to mention number one, you need a figure. You need like, I don't know, you have to actually either make a 3D model, a 3D rendering of something that you want. And obviously that costs money. That takes time and that costs money. How much money? I think one guy quoted me just to get him on the computer to even mock up a gangster was 300 bucks. Just to like 3D model it. We're not even talking about printing. And I want two. And you're gonna see in my mod, I actually have fucking four. <laughs> so again, I'm hard set on the gangster. It's very cool. Not to mention in game, you are actually fighting gangsters. You're fighting capos, they call them. And every family has a different capo. If you look very carefully, you actually have four or five. No, you have, you have five. You have five different people that you're fighting. I'm like, okay, this is awesome. Let's roll with this. I think the, the, the gangster mod is gonna be cool. I have right here three gangsters. Now, I'm gonna probably try it, I'm gonna lower it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to get to the mode and all that because it, it'll make sense once you actually see the gangsters. Again, big hurdle number one is the amount of space I have here. Again, three and a half inches is not much. You can ask your wife. <laughs> Again, three and a half inches is not much. Not to mention with the amount of detail that I wanted, not a lot of detail, I actually wanted a couple of things. I love the gangster here, he's got a big ass Tommy gun. I wanted Tommy guns, but I didn't want all my gangsters to have Tommy guns. There is one, you're gonna see, it's like, I, I don't know how to, there is one that doesn't even have a gun. We call him Rico One Two, cause, put him up, he uses his fist. So now it's like, you know, like I said, if I had to get a computer guy involved, he now has to make three separate bodies now you're talking a lot of money, you know, and I already know I'm gonna get flamed for it. So what did I do? I got a guy on, on Etsy. I'm actually not gonna explain it too much. I want you, I'd rather you see them first, but this came from Etsy, overseas, from China. It took about, I would say a month completion. And I'll be honest, I'm pretty happy with it. Without further ado, let us unbox. Again, I didn't even tell you what this is. I didn't even tell you who the characters are. I wanna unbox this in a specific way because in all honesty, I'm gonna save this gangster for last. I did unbox this. I did unbox this and uh, you know, just to see, cause again, you wanna make sure it doesn't get damaged in transit. I'm gonna first unbox the first character here. I'm happy with how this came out. The hat, maybe just a little bit could have been fixed a little bit, but I'm not gonna argue it. So first one here is actually a character in the game. I'm gonna show you the character first. I'm gonna launch the game, I'm gonna show you it. And what's great with this mod, besides it being a character in the game, 
Let's see this. It is actually the creator of the Godfather pinball game. He is like the, the he's the creator of it. He's the one that made this, this table happen. And if you notice, it's a bobblehead. <laughs> now real quick, I launched the game. I have animated fighters on. I kind of have to at least hit a couple of targets or else it'll think it's looking for a ball. But as you can see, we got Eric, Enrico 1, 2. I basically sent the company that picture. Even the rings they got. <laughs> I'll bring them back up, but as you can see, I gave him that picture and it's, it's fairly good. I think it's awesome. Look at that. Look at that. Mean mugging and all. And that's the best part. Look at that. They actually even got the pinky ring when it, my camera focuses. There you go. That's a close up of Enrico12, also known as Eric. Look. It's got the pinky ring. <laughs> now, in all honesty, though, before, and this was was great. This is what was great with the guy from Etsy. Um, they made the head first, and they're like, okay, do you approve it? Let me get my camera to focus on me. Hello. They basically make the face first, and then they add the add-ons later. So he sent me a picture of the hat. The hat's not awful. Um, I kind of wish the brim was a little bit smaller, but then when I compare it to, like, the actual gangster here, it's really not that bad. It's not that off. Now, let's unbox them and I'll show you my idea, okay? Now, in all honesty, the figures that are up here, the animated fighters, I should say, Enrico, to me, is like the best. And what's great with the way Jersey Jack made this is the fighters that you're fighting are actually like creators slash developers slash engineers of the game slash Jersey Jack pinball. So already people are like, this game is stupid because the fighters, you're not even fighting people from The Godfather. I think that's awesome. What a unique idea to put your game devs as fighters. Now, in all honesty, Enrico, maybe because I know that he's like the creator of the table, I kind of like him. I like, the like I mentioned before, I usually get my gangsters black suited red. Red and black is like a cool gangster look. He has a great color vibe to him. Now, the other two, and the way I measured this up, I was basically able to determine that I could put three gangsters, not two, I could put three. I'm looking at the fighters, I'm like, who else would I like? Not many other fighters really um, intrigued me. Their suits are nice, but like, as far as like figurine-wise, I wasn't a fan. You're gonna see the second model right now, and you're gonna be like, wow, Vic, that's fucking stupid, but hold on. Now, as I unwrap this figurine, I think it's hilarious. And it's just great to see that this Kaneda dude or whatever, they caught on and they understood who this is. Now, the clothing that this person is wearing is a fighter. He's wearing this clothing in the game. But the head, the head is different. I'll bring him close, I can't tell. Can you tell who that is? I'll make sure that he's in focus, hang on. There you go. Can you tell who that is? So again, the clothing is actually a fighter in the game. I requested the double pistols. Again, I wanted it also to keep guns like kind of related to the movie, but can you tell who that is? <laughs> Let me make sure that I'm focused. It is Jersey Jack himself. <laughs> How awesome is that? I sent them a picture of Jersey Jack and they made it into a bobblehead with the clothing and all. Look at that. That's awesome. <laughs> That's two gangsters. Let me tell you about the third one. Now this third one, honestly, Number one, I'm not a fan of how he came out, face-wise. Let's just say I kind of got him for free slash on a steep discount because I wasn't really a fan of it. But really, this is how the idea stemmed. Us Collector's Edition owners, in our coin box, we have a severed head in our coin box. What are you talking about, Vic? What? What? Like I mentioned before, the gangster right here. We actually have two heads for this gangster. My number one request, I wanted to use the second head. Creative, right? Now this is hilarious, because this is where people will make fun of me. This is kind of like, oh, you have a gangster at home, like that meme that they say. This is in your coin door. If you're a collector's edition owner like me, this head is awesome. This is great. Look at the detail on this head. I'm gonna bring it in close. Look at that, that is in your coin door. Again, I don't know if that's Mike or Floyd. 
He's got his cigar, and the cigar has like hints of glitter on it. Beautiful. We have this in our coin door collecting dust. Now, <laughs> this, I gotta get my camera to focus. Hang on. Now, again, I sent the picture of this, and um, I'm gonna just save you the laughter. It's, it's not what I, I like. I don't like it. Uh, we're gonna make sure that I put this head back into the baggie. I'm not gonna, for camera purposes, I wanna make sure everything is good. I love what I did though for the body. The head though, that's gotta go. That's gonna be cut out. So again, I told them, I said, I'm not a fan of it. I give them props for trying. But that right there is our third gangster there. Let's let the camera focus. There he is, zoomed in. Cigar, gray hairline and all. But the biggest thing I do love, I do like the suit and I do like the Tommy gun. So now they said, yes, it's something about the eyes. It's really the eyes and also the skin color is wrong. Um, again, before they made the body, they basically made like just the eyes and the nose and the mouth. Listen, it's, it's not, it's not awful. I give them me, let me get my camera to focus. <laughs> it's not awful. I give them props, but I did tell them like, I'll be honest, the head, I'm not a fan of it. I even asked, I said, is there a way that you could just send me the body and not the head? And like, just give me the spring and I'll modify the head that I have. They're like, listen, we already made like the head. It's fine. We're just going to give you this one on the house. I was like, okay, cool. I don't like taking stuff for free though. Um, so honestly, they gave it to me half price. And uh, I'm grateful for that. Honestly though, this head is coming off. This, I'm not a fan of it. I'll put like, I'll, put, I'll, I'll show you side by side. <laughs> now again, this is like, it's like that meme. I wanted this but then you have this at home. <laughs> I mean, again, at least they got like some key details. Like they got the hair down, they got the cigar going the right way. It's just like I said, it's like the, maybe the face is too, you know, fat, I don't know. But I knew from the beginning, I wanted to use this head. Now, in all honesty, yes, I have to modify this head. I'm gonna basically put like, I'll probably hot glue something in. I'm gonna make it so I don't destroy the head. Don't worry, we could, you know, salvage the head. It's not like I'm losing money on the head. It's just this head is in our coin door doing nothing. Now, like, I'm gonna add it. I'm gonna add it to the play field. Again, I give them props. It's cool. Now we have our three gangsters. Let me show you what it's kind of gonna look like. And there you have it. That is placement there. Now, this is just a mock-up, please. Just listen to the theory. That was the first thing I did and I at least was happy to see I have enough clearance. Now granted though, yes, these bases will be gone. These bases are gone. These are not gonna stay here. Uh, I requested them without the base, but they sent it with the base. I basically have to take the body parts off. Now the biggest thing again, they're bobbleheads. So as you shake, part of the mod I wanted was I wanted something interactive. I didn't want it to be a static thing. At least when you shake the cabinet, the heads will move. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's very, it, the biggest thing and my main concern was the height. I told him, I said, I cannot, if this cannot exceed like 3.5 inches. So for the amount of detail on the figurine, not to mention it's also handmade. I don't know what they did, clay and all. In all honesty, like the hat, even the hands here, they're almost still like posable slash flexible. So it's not like a hard plastic, it's like almost like a clay. Now, for the haters, they're gonna go, oh, you're gonna butcher this game. You think I'm stupid? What the fuck? Watch this. I went. Number one, I'm very big on not using the stock parts. You can't even see it. I went, I took out the plastic here, and I remade a plastic plexiglass platform. Not to mention, this is more durable. This is actually a little bit thicker than that. So I am not modifying the existing part. That will come out. You butchered it! No, I didn't. I could always, and I do plan to hard mount the characters on this. This comes out. And the original one goes back like it never fucking happened. I even went to the extent of making an extra one. <laughs> I have two custom plexi hand cut. I didn't see and see this. This is hand cut with, um, what did I use? Like a bandsaw type thing that I have in the garage. I got two of them. This one still has like the, the blue. I basically took the existing plexiglass. I put it over painter's tape on this plexiglass, traced it, and there you go. 
So the next steps to the mod, basically, I have to take the characters off the platform. They are like hot glued, I'm hoping they are, so I really have to be kind of careful. I don't like damage the actual character, but I'm planning to take it off. I don't know yet. The actual platform, I don't know if I'm going to tint it. I don't know, because if I do tint it, it makes the game more, I'm going to say difficult. It's going to make the game more difficult because you cannot see where the ball is going. Which to me is kind of cool. Now I made the game even harder. <laughs> really making you feel like, oh shit, where is this ball coming from and where is it going to go? I like that. I think it's cool. Now worst case scenario, which I think in the initial, the beginning, I'm going to leave it clear. Again though, the hardest thing that people were making fun of me and I posted this picture and that can Canada dude, Canada dude, they, it's a picture and I'll show you the picture here. It's a picture of the actual figurines with the base. And in his cult-like sad following, it's legit cult-like, everybody's like, oh, step away from the pinball machine, you butchered the machine. But everybody is so fixated on the white base. I regret making that picture because I'm just excited. I'm like, oh, I got this thing and I want to, I want to show you what the vision is. But everybody is so honed in on, that's a white base. That's kind of stupid. And look, you put, just wait until I take it off the base. That's, that's what I would say. Just, just wait, just wait. Because honestly, I could always fill around here and I could always put like money and stuff, little kind of things. That's it. Number one, I forgot to mention in the beginning of the video, I wanted something here that is interactive. I was going to go to the extent of putting the gunners. But, I'll settle with bobblehead. And yes, they are bobbleheads. There are, there's, a, there's a huge community on Etsy that will make custom bobbleheads. So yes, it is a bobblehead. People are going to be like, that's stupid. Honestly though, it, it like fits because our gangster here, it's almost the same size head. It all worked out. It all worked out. And again, I wanted something interactive. I was going to go to the extent of wiring gunners. Like that's how interactive I was. My little hint of, you know, head shaking, cool. I even asked the actual builders, the creators, I said, is there a way that we can maybe make the, the, the torso bobble? And they're like, no, we've never done that before. And I'm like, it's a smart idea though, no? Imagine though, imagine the torso, like the hands would've went and the gun would've, it, 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 come on, be creative. <laughs> now again, I have the gangsters here. I'm telling you now, the standard, the stock plexiglass that's here, it's, it's not durable. So I'm gonna take them off in a second, but Main thing is that when I actually get to the nitty gritty stuff, I'm gonna find a way to make sure that the drill, you know, they're drilled into the base. Um, I have to position them in, in a way, I don't want them all forward. I want one like lean to the side, I want one turned. So I have to play around with it. And again, the biggest thing is that I'm gonna put the extra head on here. It's just cool. We got Eric, you know, Eric 1-2, Enrico 1-2. We got fucking Jersey Jack himself shooting you with his pistols. And then we have, Floyd or Mike with a Tommy gun, just like his original purpose. I think of everything. Now, if you've been listening very carefully since this video, I said that I made four. There's three. Vic, where's the fourth one? I'll be honest. The fourth one, it was a, it's, a, it's a good idea in my head. And this is where I kind of would want to save up for the real figurine. Um, I don't know if he's going to be in. I'm going to probably make the video and I'll put him in. But uh, I'll show you the fourth one. If you've been listening very carefully, I did mention that there is a Michael Corleone full body figure. Let's take a look. That is a Michael Corleone. I actually sent them, you know, pictures of Michael and the figurine I found, he actually has his hand out. Just like that. Now again, this is a full body. Suit is actually pretty accurate to the actual you know, picture I sent. Face is, uh, is fair. You know, I, I, again, I might not, I don't think I'm going to keep him in the game. Uh, only because I really kind of wish it looked like Michael Corleone. But, uh, yeah, there you go. That's your religion. Now, where would he go, Vic? What are you going to do? Where would he go? My objective was to make sure that he is pointing out. I wanted him pointing the gun at you. And he would go right here. Right there. That's where he would go. Can you see him? He's over there. Again though, the biggest thing is to understand, the base is kind of, it's, he's supposed to go back more. But the base, you can see how much space I have in the rear of his legs. He will not be covering up the Statue of Liberty. That's the biggest thing. And the big thing here though, is that there is a mech here for the ramp to go up and down. So we have to be careful with that. But 
Again, it's hard to tell on the camera my original envision because of the base. He's on a base. But yeah, he's essentially going to go somewhere here. But more in. Gun is over the wire form. And he's shooting at you. Again, it's a bobblehead. He goes with the game. <laughs> Look at Jersey Jack. Yeah, there you go. Now again, in this video, yes, you see him. He's covering up the Statue of Liberty. That is not the intent. That's why I don't really want to show too much of this. Now again, the idea I saw was the original, like, actual figurine. But keep in mind, we're talking like a $300 figurine. Now, I've also found the same figurine on Alibaba for like $150 to like $220. That's still a lot of money for an action figure. Granted, though, the detail and all that, I'm not knocking that. It's, that's a lot of money. This isn't too bad, though. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not upset with it. It's close. It's, I'll dig it. But in all honesty, it's like... This now I feel like it's a, it's a, I'm going to say the word, it's like a disrespect because we do have an actual Don Corleone bust here. So I'm going to just put him on the side. <laughs> now I'm mentioning and talking about money. The last thing, you want to know how much I spent on these four figurines? I spent in total 170 bucks shipped. Yeah. Now to me, it's a no brainer. Yes, they're bobbleheads. They are at least detailed. They are like holding gun. Like the, they did what I wanted and I didn't have to worry about. And again, I have a feeling that yes, if I went the 3D printed route, it would be more realistic. And again, there's only, you can't see in that video, but like the heads are so barely close to the top. <laughs> but again, granted it's on the base. So the base has to come out. I think it's awesome. <laughs> Well, there you guys have it. Stay tuned for the full, I guess, official mod. Uh, it's probably gonna take me, I would say, a day. Again, I have to take the characters off the bases. That's the biggest thing. That's why I'm like hesitant to even, I was hesitant to show the picture and I posted the picture, but obviously you get the hate already. So I'm already, again, the biggest thing is that I'm doing this for me. I'm not doing it for anybody else. Honestly, I wouldn't even be able to resell this because obviously we're using two like people and uh i obviously can't make money off of that i would love though if eric or jersey jack even see the picture <laughs> i think that'd be awesome i think it's uh i think it's again i'm not making fun of them i think it's just I, to me it's like an honor you're gonna put me in your game i think it's i think it's awesome just stay tuned for the official release basically when i when i have them locked in and the best part is i could always remove it the best part if i don't like it if i want to resell this game i did not devalue it it's awesome and honestly the the major plus two it's it's the amount of money i paid i to me it's like nothing it's 170 bucks like and i i, I went and we're talking about a month it was a month process i sent them pictures then they sent me back and forth like hey do you like how this face is okay you like it we're gonna move on to the body um, the original one, the first one ever with their Tommy gun, I didn't like the color of it. It was like all black. And I was like, you can't tell the Tommy gun. So they went, they repainted it. No questions asked. And the shipping wasn't too bad. It took about like a week and a half to ship. Like I said, the only thing me personally, you know, with this game, I'm not done yet. I definitely would now put like a little bit of a side, a side piggy bank to get a real Michael Corleone figure. I do love the compound car lock. I do like that. That's probably the last two things I would want to do. But hey, you try, right? You try. At least I could see it. And honestly, I think a full body one would be very cool. Look at that. I'm shaking the machine just slightly and they're, they're moving. Their head's moving. That's it. Think outside the box, my guys. Be sure to like, subscribe. Give me a comment. Let me know what you guys think. Do you hate it? Do you love it? And in all honesty, I don't give a shit. I love it. That's all that matters. <laughs>